The crossing will be west of the I-35 bridge, near the UT Boathouse, just downstream from the Congress Avenue Bridge. This is animation of what it all may look like. Light rail trains crossing Lady Bird Lake, next to new hike and bike paths, and then down into an underground station under the Austin skyline. I think this in some ways is, this is a little bit of a teaser um, about what the opportunity or what the possibilities are. Peter Mullen is the Chief of Architecture and Urban Design for Austin Transit Partnership. That's the group building Cap Metro's ambitious transit plan known as Project Connect. The Focus Tuesday is on the Blue Line. It's eight miles long, linking downtown to the airport with light rail. As part of the bridge design process, Cap Metro has now added option B. It includes dedicated lanes just for bus traffic. So we're this preliminary engineering process that we're in right now is all about getting feedback from the community. And one of the pieces of feedback we got was, what about buses? Could this bridge also accommodate buses in addition to light rail and pedestrians and cyclists? And we thought, you know, that is a really good thing for us to explore. And so we went and we explored it. And so now we have two options and it's, we could have a really good, robust, thorough conversation about what the best direction to go in. Under the current plan, part of this dog park would be clipped by the Blue Line. Adding buses to the Blue Line Bridge will, of course, increase cost from $150 million to $210 million. We asked potential riders what they thought about that. It'd be nice to just go over here and then zip over there versus tolls and a trip more traffic, right? The overall price for Project Connect has nearly doubled to $10 billion. The recent spike with inflation blame for that. I asked Mullen if we should be bracing ourselves for more price hikes. I think the message is, is certainly don't panic, right? But at the same time, you know, we have to acknowledge the environment we're in. And if you talk to economists, um, it doesn't you know, look like Austin has any intention of slowing down anytime soon. So on the one hand, it's another reason why we need to build this transit infrastructure, right, to serve this growing community. Um, but it also means that we are going to probably likely be um, under continued, you know, cost pressures as the program develops. The goal is to start construction on Project Connect's light rail system by 2025.